Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I'm starting today at, uh, at Milton Keynes train station. Yesterday we flew home from Yorker and we flew into, well I flew into Luton with, with Georgia because this is where she lives. But now I'm getting a train back up north to Preston which is, which is where I live. The reason I'm not staying down here for long is because Georgia goes back to work tomorrow. She's got like two more weeks of work before she heads back up to Nottingham to university before, they start, before the start of her next year. So I've got a two hour train to crew which is when I will change and I will get my second train up to Preston. And I'm so excited for my second train because because I'm traveling first class. The first class ticket was actually cheaper than a standard class ticket. I have no idea why, I have no idea how, but it was, so I get to travel first class. How sick is that? Just arrived in crew now where I've got to change and get my train up to Preston. I had about two hours of editing to finish off with yesterday's video. So I decided to just crack on and finish the vlog whilst on this first train. And then I can sit back and relax and just enjoy the first class experience of my next train. We just need some room to breathe. We got mouths, we gotta feed. Kill a beat to keep the least. Gotta step on your feet. Know the dream it isn't cheap. Trying to take us overseas. Put some masses in a seat. Since the age of 17, I got seven figure dreams. I'm just approaching Preston now, I'm about to get off the train and I would say there's nothing particularly special about that first class, I mean the highlight for me was getting free food and the food was great, don't get me wrong, that food was really good, but would I spend a crazy amount on a ticket? Probably not. And it still seems bizarre to me that that ticket today was cheaper than a standard class ticket. I mean, how does that work? Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello, Sam. <laughs> you are crazy. You are crazy. So because I spent a large proportion of today traveling up from George's house, I spent quite a large proportion of today on trains and also at train stations waiting for trains. So the day's getting on a bit. I am going to go out for a ride later on this evening, but I thought now would be a good opportunity to just quickly explain sort of where I'm at with a cycling perspective, you know, where I'm at in my season. As you all know now, about two or three weeks ago, I did some ligament damage to my left ankle, which consequently ended my race season. Recovery was better than expected, but my ankle didn't heal 100%, so I decided we're not gonna race anymore this season. I was able to train a little bit, as long as I ride in a specific way and don't you know, twist my ankle in ways that, that aggravate that particular ligament. I was able to train okay, but obviously I wasn't able to race. So regardless of that incident, typically at the end of every race season, sort of around the start of September, I will take three weeks off, completely off the bike. This allows the body to completely, completely, completely mentally and physically reset itself ahead of uh, ahead of preparation for next season now if you're relatively new to cycling this isn't just you know you know me that does this 99 percent of cyclists do this even professional even world tour professionals they all take three or four weeks off at the end of the season. I guess you could say it's, it's the norm. Now this kind of puts me in a little bit of a weird position because my race season has already ended, but I'm still riding. So I can sort of choose whenever I want to take my off season. I always feel like the first three weeks of September is a good time to take the off season. So I made the decision that I would ride up until like the start of September. Then I will take a three week break. This is why the riding that I'm doing at the moment isn't structured. There's no training element. I'm purely just riding for fun because at the minute there really is no incentive to train. There's no reason. There's no reason to train hard. I'm literally just going through the motions until the end of the season ahead of my break and then I will start preparations for next season. But even though I'm going to be taking a break from the start of September, that doesn't mean that the vlogs are going to stop. That doesn't mean the vlogs are going to be any less interesting. I'm putting some things in place now ready for that off season and I think, well, I know, I know you're going to like it.
So the time has passed quite considerably. It's now eight o'clock and I'm only just able to get out on my bike. The sun's setting over there behind me. I very, very quickly put on some shorts and a helmet and I've nipped out. I'm probably gonna get 20 minutes of daylight left. I was thinking of jumping on the trainer, but then I remembered I'm probably gonna have a long winter of that. So whilst the sun's out and whilst it's light and relatively warm, I've gotta make the most out of the open road. But what some of you may not know is during the off season, one thing I love to do is, is to run. So I'm kind of thinking when the sun drops and I go home, I might head out for my first run of the year and start my running campaign because strangely I've missed running but uh, with that being said that's gonna be the end of today's video I have to remember I have to concentrate and stay on the left hand side of the road because here in the UK we ride on the left however mainland Europe and Mallorca rides on the right back to normality tomorrow thanks for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did please drop a thumbs up and as always I'll see you at 5 p.m. tomorrow I decided to run, did one mile in seven minutes 30. We've got a long way to go.